What is up, Philip here. Today I'll show you how I play the intro for Flower Girl. So these are the chords. D minor 9 with a 7. So if you take it on piano, I'm skipping the uh, the fifth here. That's how I play it on the guitar. It becomes very easy changing to the second chord D flat add 9 D flat and in the right hand from this to to this. On guitar 4, 6, 5, 4. So we have I could have gone with D flat in major 7 here but on the guitar at least the melody tone doesn't fit in that makes it more interesting than going. I found that pretty cool. Instead of... Nah. That's cooler. Uh, then we have... B flat minus 7. C minus 7. You hold it the same if you play guitar. But on the piano... And the rhythm for the guitar... Syncopated. And the piano holds the chords. Bum, bum. In the production, the piano has like a chorus on it. And the chords are wobbling with the chorus. Bum. The first chord is D minor 9. Super sexy. I like sliding in from a wrong note like this. But landing on the note that works. But I also use the blue scale as a, as a skeleton I can go to. The second and the fourth chord are syncopated like this. What you hear is the metronome, but inside of me, as a guitar player, I also hear three against four. We can apply that on the first lick. Like. Bada, 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 ba. I've divided it, the intro in four pieces. We have this lick here. I play that the first and the third time. So the second time I play. And I like playing some dead notes in between. And it's all about dynamics, how you play it, and landing on that syncopated chord. Then the first lick again. And I, I wanted to end pretty simple. Less is more, you know? It's something special with these small steps. You're going home. So it all together, all together. Hope you like this video and keep streaming this song and play it if you want to. If you make a cover, tag me in it. Peace and love. Bye.